As long as we are together, there's nothing we can't do. She came and visited GCU. I was already there my freshman year. And we, it was intramural season, playing sports. And a mutual friend of ours uh, invited him out to kind of like play with us. We're like, oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. And so we went over there and um, Wyatt was on our friend's team. We happened to have a forfeit that game while they were visiting. So we just decided to play a pickup game and um, it ended up being like a really, really fun game. Just saw her, met her, said hi, she was on my team. Great soccer player, great athlete. And so she caught my eye. And then junior year came around, randomly saw her at like a dinner, like um, hanging out. And she walks to the door and like totally threw me off because she's this quiet little soul. Ended up going outside, I was stressed out about things in life and such. We like went outside and we were just like talking about it. She came out and we had like a great conversation for about three hours. I asked her to date me and I knew, I like already knew like I was gonna marry her. Then our next day I took her out in the stars. Um, we like spent a whole night, like I had a sunroof, we laid out on top of my Tahoe. Someone cares about me this much to put this all of this effort into one day. We just talked all night long and uh, I learned everything about her family, she learned everything about mine. And from that moment on, like, that was just us. Bay, there's nothing I want more right now than to see you walking toward me down that aisle. It's never just going to be my future again. It's our future now. I love you more than anything. Why? He's way better at that than I am. <laughs> Why? I love you more than I could ever explain. I feel so lucky to be marrying you today. I can't wait to be your wife. I love you. Meet you at the altar, Bay. What really like attracted me to her and like pulled me to like pursue her was like her like quiet, not out there, like not outspoken personality. Like she was like the beautiful, quiet one kind of in the corner that you had to pursue. He has the biggest heart. He's like my best friend. He's there for me whenever I need him even when I feel like I don't. He's there for me when I just need to cry. <sighs> He's my best friend. I'm so glad that I get to go through my whole life with a friend like him. Well, everybody dreams about like what it's gonna be like when you see your person at the end of the aisle, but it's so hard to comprehend right now like what it's gonna be like when I see him. Oh, I'm just gonna feel so lucky. Like, this doesn't feel real. I think the moment I see her, when that blindfold comes off, it's gonna be a rush of everything that's led up to us meeting, to us spending time in the dorms, to us, you know, being together up here in Oregon, and like fast forwarding through what like the entire future could be. It's gonna be insane, knowing that I get to go up there and then. I get to be with him forever. Love isn't always a feeling. It is a decision that every day you will choose your spouse for better or for worse, in sickness and in health. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. I firmly believe that you both were made for each other, both perfectly fit to be each other's helper and partner in life. Today, we get to join in celebration as Wyatt and Bailey go from being two individuals to joining in one marriage together. Wyatt, you are my absolute best friend. You have made me feel more loved than I ever thought possible. I knew from the moment we picked the same song on that iPod and gazed at the stars over Lake Pleasant that you were the one for me. Today I give you all that I am and all that I have. I give you my heart, my faith, my life. I promise to love you in good times and in bad when life seems easy and when it seems hard. I will help you with your responsibilities, especially when they include getting to places on time. <laughs> I promise to comfort you in times of distress and encourage you to achieve all of your goals. I will love you for who you are and help you to become all that you can be. I promise to be with you always, to care for 
you and to love you no matter how far apart we may be. When you are happy, I will be happy with you. And when you are sad, I will make you smile. I promise to give you love, honesty, trust and commitment, and in general, keep your life a little more interesting as we grow old together. You are the most kind, generous, and loving man I've ever met. And I promise with my whole heart to cherish you for as long as we both love. This is the greatest day of my life. You're my world, and today you're letting me make you my world for the rest of my life. I have 23 years under my belt, but these past three years with you have let me experience a new type of love I didn't know was here. You're the person I trust with every decision. You stole my heart, and it was the best day of my life. When you come to me with problems, I'll try to listen more and fix things less. I promise to spend the rest of my life protecting your heart. If someone hurts you, they hurt us. If you smile, we smile. What's mine is yours, and that's how I want it to be until my last breath. I love you, Bailey Ann, and growing old with you is going to be the only way I want to grow old. Now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Wyatt, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Introducing for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Wyatt and Bailey Lawton. I go crazy sometimes. Can you believe it? Yeah, I swear I'm fine that I'm alright But I'm barely breathing Thought I could find my way back home But I get lost alone You know, this is a tough day for me. Our oldest is, uh, you know, moving on. She's still kids, in my mind. Uh, this journey, you know, just work with each other. I love you both.